the hell is happening guys big in this one from sports talk and the first thing first congratulations to daniel medvedev on ending novak Djokovic in the u.s open final i was so scared i was thinking he's probably gonna be swept and like daniel was going to be beaten in straight sets just like he was in australian open but looks like he had other plans he he just dominated oh he dominated from the very beginning like from if you look at his rec record in the first round he beat the French guy in straight sets and then second round German dude in straight sets third round some Spanish dude in straight sets and uh, fourth round round of 16 this is uh, Evans in straight sets he just dropped one set in the entire tournament and that was against uh, Zen Schulp Zen Schulp uh, yeah German uh, no not German Dutch Dutch dude in the quarterfinals 6-4 he fell and but overall he was just he was cruising through this tournament he beat the canadian dude uh auger alias seems in straight sets and then he had the djokovic in straight sets as well so he was just just dominating i'm loving it i think he was carrying the hopes and dreams of all the federer and the nadal fans because <laughs> if uh, if djokovic won this one it, it was going to be his 21st grand slam and no man in the history of the world has ever gotten has ever won 21 Grand Slams, so this was important, and I think Nadal and Djokovic uh, and Nadal and Federer fans did not want that shit to happen. But but I know that Djokovic will end up winning 25 or 26 Grand Slams in his career, but the calendar slam also did not happen because of Daniil Medvedev. So Mother Russia stepped up big time and delivered this Medvedev kid, 25 years old. He he took care of business basically. I mean, I was kind of shocked, like I said, very shocked. Well. I was hoping that this was gonna happen and this did happen so good stuff good stuff Djokovic cannot be stopped he is gonna come back in Australian Open in a couple of months and win this one but at least there is somebody up up here who's like hey 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 listen you're in the finals it doesn't mean that you're gonna win and he's shown it mother Russia did show it today that hey this ain't gonna go down like this and and Djokovic went all over the world he started with France then Germany then Spain then Great Britain, then this Dutch dude, and then the uh, Canadian. Well, I, I wanted this Canadian guy to win, but then things would have been different. Had the Canadian kid won, Djokovic would have destroyed him. <laughs> no doubt about it. So Medvedev did a good job. And let me see how long this thing lasted for. First set, 34 minutes. He was quick with it. Second set was a little longer, 54 minutes. So that's almost an hour. And third set is 46 minutes. And that's basically Djokovic gave up. Djokovic knew that he was going to go down. And I think he just basically at one point he's like, fuck it, I'll let you have it. And he was getting frustrated as well. You guys seen that he was smashing the racket and everything. And if you look at the stats, you'll see aces, 16 aces by Medvedev. Uh, that's crazy. Six aces by Djokovic. So he was basically like brutalized. I don't know what happened. Like probably the last game with Zverev, the German dude basically broke Djokovic. And the win percent on first serve is 81% for Medvedev compared to 80% for Djokovic. And win percent of second serve is much higher for Medvedev than Djokovic. You see 76% for Medvedev and 44% for Djokovic. And overall, 4 out of 8 break points won by Medvedev compared to 1 out of 6 by Djokovic. So he was the better player today. And I think it's just the you have to thank, thank like Medvedev. Got to thank Zverev. Because <laughs> I think that guy broke Djokovic basically. Because that, that semi-final match was hard. 5 sets took him forever to beat uh, Zverev, Djokovic, well Zverev put up a fight and it paid off, it paid off, the world did not see a, a man winning the 21st title, 21st Grand Slam title, so hey congratulations to Medvedev and Djokovic will win, believe me he's gonna come back in January, February and win that Australian Open, but this is basically like a put a stop on it for a little while, put a hold on it, not a stop, put a hold on it, Medvedev is like hey buddy I'm here. So beware next time you're in the final face of me, okay? <laughs> but Djokovic has learned a lot for sure. I think it was fatigue that it was fatigue that basically got Djokovic, but he's gonna come back and fuck shit up. Believe me, it's going to happen. But congratulations to Medvedev and hey, good luck, good luck. You just, this is just your first tie, Grand Slam title. I know you're gonna win more, so I'm looking forward to. It. Big Z out. Have fun, guys.